Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Seagizzle, and in today's video we're doing an update to how to add a webcam to your OBS scene video, the one I did a while back now. And uh, not really, it's not really too outdated, it's just I want to make a current video, a little shorter one, a little better quality sounding one, and one that's with the current version of OBS currently available. Um, but this will also be a two-part video. This first part will be dedicated to the standard OBS, which most of you probably use, and the next part will be dedicated to multi-platform. So, things that we need to cover before we start actually adding the webcam. Number one, make sure all your devices are actually properly plugged into the PC. That can be a big issue for a lot of you out there because, uh, in my last video uh, regarding the same topic, I got a lot of comments saying that, uh, you know, my webcam wasn't being detected, my webcam wasn't showing up, stuff like that. Make sure the webcam is completely plugged in. If it's USB, which I'm guessing it is, make sure it's fully plugged in. If it's still not de uh, being detected by your computer, try different USB ports. And if all of them are not working, then either your webcam is wrong or something with the PC is... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Make sure it works. Number two, once you know your, uh, your webcam is all functioning properly and connected to your PC, download and install all the proper software and drivers for your webcam and what are drivers and software essentially just the stuff that your computer actually needs to have in order to run everything uh, for the webcam and the easiest way to find all this stuff google the manufacturer of your uh, of your webcam so if it's logitech for an example google logitech go to their website look up your product download this, uh, the software and the drivers if it's a different company same process but there's a chance if you have a really cheap webcam or, you know, a not very popular webcam or you got off some weird website, you may not be able to find support for it. But that's just something you got to keep in mind when making these kind of, you know, purchasing decisions. Anyways, make sure that's all set up. Make sure it's all working. Then go into OBS. Set up your scene the way you want it for the gameplay and your camera and all that. Just make sure you have it set the way you want and have an idea of where you, where your, where your webcam, uh, where you want your webcam to be. Once you get to that point, you're going to go to Sources. Right-click add video capture device please enter a name name it to whatever you like I would recommend just naming it webcam but feel free to name it whatever okay then it'll show up uh, this window will show up under device the first thing you'll see up there make sure it is selecting your webcam um, if you have any capture cards or any other recording devices connected to your computer they will also show up here more than likely Make sure it is your webcam. For me, it says Logitech HD Webcam C615. That is my webcam connected to my computer right now. Make sure that is selected. All right, now before we just hit OK, I'm going to show you guys some uh, what some of these more important settings mean. The first one we'll look at is the flip image settings. Basically, if you click either one of these, um, it will flip the image accordingly. Vertically, it'll make the image upside down. Horizontally, it will mirror it. OK, so opacity. That's basically transparency. The lower the number is, the more transparent your image will become. So if you want to make your uh, your video a little more transparent so that the gameplay behind it can be a little see-through behind your camera or something like that, that's a totally okay option to go for, and it's worth playing with. All right, I'm not going to worry about any of this. Um, we're going to go down to resolution now. Um, I recommend all of you guys using a custom resolution if your webcam is you know, 720 or 1080. Mainly, uh, mainly the reason why is because your webcam will be a little big if it's uh, if it's full HD. Um, it'll be in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It'll take up more space and it'll be harder to space in an appropriate area. Also, I will go ahead and recommend a decent resolution size. If your webcam can get above 640 by 480, I recommend actually just bringing it down to that resolution because that's a nice boxy kind of size that you can put in corners really well. It's perfectly square. It looks good for most games. But if you are someone that's going to chroma key, you know, your stream and you're going to just, you know, get rid of all the background stuff with the green screen or whatever, then there's nothing wrong going with the full 1080. Um, for FPS, um, it doesn't really matter for your webcam for the stream quality by any means. But if, I mean, if webcam can record 6 FPS, which I don't think really many do, then go for it. But I recommend just staying at 30 FPS. But in all reality, it doesn't really make a difference. You just, if you want to play of it, play of it. But uh, I'm actually going to, before I exit this, I'm going to set my webcam to the recommended resolution, 640 by 480 because I like to have my webcam, uh, like I said, be a bit more square, a bit more boxy because I do not chroma key my webcam. All right, so these are more color settings down here. If you actually understand you know, these kind of settings, play with them, make your 
webcam looked nicer. If not, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, over here is uh, you can select your audio device. If you already have your correct microphone selected in OBS, though, just uh, just leave this alone. I'm not really sure why this is even here. Um, I mean, the only thing this can really help you with potentially is matching up uh, your mouth with your uh, with your microphone in the stream if you're having delay issues, but you really shouldn't be having delay issues if you do everything correctly. So once you have all the settings the way you like, just hit OK. And now the test of it's working, let's go to preview stream. All right, see, there I am. OK, so as you can see, my webcam, even though it can go full 1080, it's not in full 1080p resolution. It is set to a size that I put it to, the uh, 640 by 480. But now it's already d default into one corner. Let's resize it and put it into a different corner. So to do that, to edit your scene, to change where your stuff is, hit edit scene, and then you can grab it. See, I can now move my webcam at t to basically any point in the screen. I can move it like halfway off the screen on either side. I can put it anywhere on the screen. I can leave it. It doesn't have to be attached to a corner, but I can also increase and decrease the size of the camera. So by dragging the corners out, as you see here, I can make it bigger or smaller. But what most of you are probably doing is throwing it into a corner, right? So you can just make it to whatever looks good. Um, generally like around this kind of size. And I, what I like to do is I like to use my arrow keys. And here's a good little tip. Use my arrow keys to adjust it more exact to what I want. Because I don't like when my webcam touches the corners completely. I like it closer to corners, but I don't like it touching. So as you can see, I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move around my webcam a little more precisely. There's also some tools. If you right click, you go to position size, you can make it like uh, center the screen horizontally. So it's like right, right dead in the center. You can do it vertically too. What else can you do with the positioning and sizing? You can fit the screen so it blows up fully. So if my webcam here was in 1080, it would fill up even the black borders, but it's not because I have it set this way for a certain reason. Uh, what else can we do with this? Uh, you know, you can move it to the edges. Basically, it lets you, you know, do what you can do with just by dragging it, you know. But uh, it will snap to the corners if you get the edges close enough. But I believe that is everything. Let me get it. Go ahead and just center this for you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. This has been the updated version of this video. Expect part two for multi-platform coming out very soon. Now, if this has helped you guys, please leave a comment down below telling me if this helped you or not. Every time I make these videos, I want to make sure that these are actually out there helping you because I make these to help people get into streaming, get into whatever, so that everybody has a chance to do something fun because live streaming is super fun. And especially this year for me, I've been getting into it more. I've been getting lots of co cool people hanging out with me watching my stream so for more people out there getting that opportunity that's awesome so let me know uh, so let me uh, know down below in the comments if it helped if it didn't help you know also let me know that you know leave a thumb up thumb down and also leave comments with questions or concerns about uh, the video or anything related to it if you have a question relating to OBS or streaming or anything Windows or PC related let me know and I can make a video about it okay because all these videos are made by commissions also, if you ever want to uh, directly get contact me, contact me without using the comments, there's my Twitter account. You can send me tweets, direct messages, and you can also email me with the email provided down below. So that's it from T Gizzle, guys. Uh, another little short video for you guys. I'm signing off. Have a good day, everybody. Merry Christmas.